Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Bally at Brand. So this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's going to be about security and about not falling for imposters. Um, once again, it's something that if you've been in, say, crypto for a while, um, most of the people that have, have made it successfully this far, uh, they kind of understand some of these things, right? Uh, at the very bottom of my screen says, never, ever, ever give anyone your seed phrase and or private keys, never. So that's the point is that sometimes you'll have people that uh, just like say with the internet and things like that, where someone is trying to educate themselves, clearly they're new and people will, will take that ignorance and that lack of knowledge and they'll prey on the person. And I don't want, you know, people that are watching my channel or anyone else's channel um, to be attacked, to be targeted, because these people are really good at what they do. Uh, so without further ado, let me just share the screen. And this is just one vector of attack. And this just happens to be on Instagram. But I've seen this with, say, Facebook. I've seen this with Twitter, you know, all of the different social media. So this is one example once again. Okay, so this is my Facebook, you know, Ballet Brand. And uh, let me actually zoom in here just so all y'all can see. So, so you know, Valiant Brand is the same exact username that I've had for, I mean, over 15 years now, um, which is awesome, ever since I was 10. Um, but that's always my username everywhere. And then if it's ever something uh, different than this, then I would explicit, uh, explicitly state that. But once again, I've had this for so long and had all these other social media so long that I don't need to compete for, say, a different username. So that's one thing that if you are, hey, you know, if you are a content creator, things like that, that is one thing that you can do to set yourself up for, for more success and less confusion is just have that username stay consistent across all boards. And once again, um, you know, not, not always is that the case, right? Not always does someone have an, an ideal username. But someone like Funding Jim, Gary, He's mentioned that there are websites and, um, you know, I can maybe find the website and link it to y'all, but there's, there's websites that you can check um, that your username will be good across all these different platforms. And then that way, once you secure it, you secure all the other platforms too. And then that way, hey, you don't have to worry about someone trying to imposter you or mimic. Okay, so let's just come back here and let's just... Let's just get to the to the root the, the root of the video. Why am I doing this? Okay, now I think it's right here is the notifications. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is where the notifications are, and here's where the example is. So let me zoom in once again. So once again, this is just notifications. For those that do ever reach out to me, I'm not on Instagram much, so you know, reach out to me on Telegram or say Twitter. But uh, so Superhex Win Trader started following you. And then it says Serena Alonzi underscore started following you. And we'll just start with Super Hex Win first, just because, whoops, sorry about this. Let me zoom out. Um, sometimes it opens in a new tab. Um, so, so let me show y'all how we can find out, hey, this is an imposter. This isn't the real Super Hex. Even if everything up here, right? Let me zoom in again, uh, once again. So even if everything up here is fine and oh my God, look, he's got 5,071 followers. Let me show you how you can tell that this account is fake, okay? So first off, no comments, no likes. Actually, there's one like here. That one, no comments, no likes. And what you'll be able to see, and I'll show you all right now. So when I click on this, this was uploaded one day ago. And when I tab over again, one day ago, one day ago, one day ago, one day ago. Are you all noticing a pattern that, hey, the person that set up this imposter account, let me come back here. So the person that set up this imposter account literally just took a screenshot of Super Hex Win, uh, all of his Instagram photos, and then they uploaded it at the same time. So there's no variation between time of when all of those on this fake account, Super Hex Win, you know, dot trader, um, there's no time in between. So that's one thing y'all can kind of see. Uh, once again, let me come back over here. The Super Hex Win dot traders, you know, usually people they'll They'll get the, the same username, right? Super Hex Win is, is the guy's name, but the dot traders is where they'll get you. So let me just go over here again and just type in Super Hex. So I'm pretty sure I am following him. Yeah, so so here's, and let me zoom in again. So 
here's where y'all can see, don't know who these people are. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of bots that need to be removed. Um, so super hacks win, that's the original, that's the legitimate super hacks, right? And then once again, the super hacks win dot traders. And once again, you can see followed by crypto wares, um, you know, sometimes it can be easy for other hexagons to, uh, you know, to fall victim to just following this person again and not actually doing the due diligence and clicking on it. Okay, so that was just super hex. Uh, I know we did have Serena as well. Um, and I did send them private messages uh, each. And so I guess one thing that you can do is right here. Uh, I think it's these three dots. Yeah, so you can click report. And then I can say report account. And then I can say it's pretending to be someone else. Who is it pretending to be someone I know, which is true. And then uh, thank you, we've, we've received your report, uh, report. So that's one thing that you guys can do as well, guys and gals. Um, I did mention the other one was Serena. Once again, a lot of the OGs, they are being, uh, what is it called? Like uh, impersonated, you know? There's a whole bunch of imposters trying to, and I've heard one even for myself which is, uh, once again, goes to show you that they're they're not going to stop uh, at anyone. Okay, so this is the fake one for Serena. Once again, I did message her because I am friends with her on Instagram that, hey, y'all got a, an imposter. But this one is highly suspicious because think about this. So first off, it's got a bit.ly thing, which Serena has never really done. So it goes to show you that they've already set up a referral uh, trap, like a referral program where, hey, you know, someone might just think that this is Serena and that her account happens to be private because, you know, maybe she's just a private individual, even though that's not the case, at least with her Instagram. Okay, so once again, this is fake. Um, since I'm not following this account, I can't really look at any of the photos, but I guarantee you if they were to have accepted and if I were to have follow requested, then yeah, they definitely would have done the same thing with Super Hacks, taken all of his photos. So once again, this is Serena Alonzi underscore. And then if I come up here, Serena, and then this is the legitimate Serena. So once again, I'm, I'm friends with legitimate Serena, the real, the one, the only. Shout out to Serena, by the way, absolute amazing lady. And, you know, OG, uh, I think it's really cool that we've got so many, you know, women in crypto, but also just cool, genuine, down to earth people. So shout, shout out to Serena. She's been here for forever. But I guess I actually was wrong. So this bit.ly dot uh this bit.ly slash Serena Staker. I guess that is actually something that she she does have on her main main account. So I discount that what I did say about the other one. I thought that might have been made up, but this is for sure Serena's account. I know for a fact because I've messaged her a handful of times, uh, you know, just throughout the the time of being a hexagon. Uh, let me just scroll down. I feel like I saw another one. Oh yeah. So so this so I know that this guy, this is the modern life dating guy, the guy that's like, um, you know, 100% Hex is a scam, blah, 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 that's in the Hex 2020 uh, Rewind. But once again, so first off, this guy wouldn't follow me in the first place because why does he care about me? And secondly, when I, you know, talk crap sometimes, you know, you, you wouldn't think that he would follow me. Um, and then secondly, once again, you can see, so hot dude life underscore happens to be at the very end. And once again, people, they sometimes they'll just look at, say, they won't do all their due diligence. They'll look at, say, just, oh, hey, you know, Jonathan's got 8,856 followers, 2,000 following. Yeah, it seems like a good ratio. There we go. We're going to follow back. And once again, we can see that this is fake and I can prove right now. So that's January 10th. That's January 10th. January 10th. January 10th. What a douchey photo, by the way. Just what an absolute douchey photo. <laughs> Separate from the actual point, but just people that do this, they're, ever, they're definitely overcompensating. Um, once again, January 10th is all of them. And so whoever's running this account clearly got either Jonathan's followers that were too dumb to actually double check, or they got a bot to actually you know do the following and to do the liking for all of these different photos. But even if I scroll down once again to say like, let's just say this first photo, guess what? January 10th. Okay, so we see that same pattern with the other account. And um, you know, I'm not even gonna try and search for this guy's real account because once again, I really don't like this guy. But I'm showing you that, hey, even this guy that I don't like and all this, like his fake account or someone that's trying to scam me 
is following me guising and pretending to be him. Um, let's let's see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, so here's another one too, another fraudulent fake account. Uh, and once again, you guys can do with this account, you can just, uh, what can you do? You can just do the little report right here next to these three dots report. Um, but I don't think this is the real Mitch. So that's January 22nd. Let's see, January 3rd. Who knows? This this might actually be the real Mitch, January 3rd, um, January 3rd. So not too sure on this one. I'm really not going to go through all of these guys' photos just to, you know, advertise for free other people. But the point is, is, hey, you know, you really need to do your due diligence in, in actual research um, because they can have the same information here. Uh, I guess I guess one thing I can do real quick, just since I didn't mean to bring this up, but now I know for a fact it's not legitimate, is right here, January 3rd, the best is yet to come. You know, four weeks ago, this, this account's definitely fake. Uh, they just happened to do this four weeks ago. So now it somewhat looks legitimate because there's different timestamps for the actual uploads versus all of them being the same day as we've seen with some of these other things. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Once again, uh, I guess I guess one thing that I can recommend is allmylinks.com. So I do got to say shout out to Maddie Allen, Maddie Allen for doing this, um, or at least for initially, uh, I was the first one that kind of learned about it through him. So shout out to him for kind of representing it. But uh, all my links. So this is one thing that you can do that's kind of like centralized, right? That just pretty much conglomerates all of your different social media. So for me, it's uh, it's as you can see in my my username, allmylinks.com slash ballet brand. You know, the Saturn logo is a, a space bar separate from the actual username. So allmylinks.com slash ballet brand gets me there. The Saturn logo is just for, uh, you know, the hexagon on the North Pole. But uh, once again, if you're ever having any imposter, you know, issues, things like this, you can just set up all of your links and make sure that they're, you know, verifiable, legitimate, um, but you can do that here. And then so we can go to all my, whoops, all my links.com slash Valley at Brand, just to show you guys and gals what this looks like. So once again, hey, this is my, all my links, and these are all my legitimate channels. So you know, I do have three Twitter accounts and, uh, you know, I've got those for redundancy, right? If one of them gets backed up um, or, or banned or canceled randomly, then, hey, I've got the other two that I could just switch the name from Brian Jones to Brandon Balliet or from Steve Johnson to Balliet Brand. Um, but once again, so we've got the main YouTube channel. This is the SciVive channel. I need to figure out how to condense that URL and have it say SciViving Hexagon. But once again, hey, if you're having issues, you know, you got Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitch, the whole nine yards, um, just, just do a little bit of due diligence, please, before, you know, thinking that, hey, this is the, you know, legitimate Richard Hart that's reaching out to me, or hey, this is the, the super hex, right, or the Serena, or, you know, Mitch Ray, things like that, because um, I know a lot of people, they... Uh, you know, they, they, and, and, and it's interesting, but they'll look at people like Richard or myself or whoever, um, almost as like celebrities, if you will. And so they might get so excited by say, you know, Richard Hart Wynn messages you or follows you on say Twitter. And they might not realize that, Hey, you know, that at Richard Hart Wynn, that, that I for the win might be an L or might be, you know, capital I things like this, that just, it looks like the original but then you go to click on it and then you see once again that, hey, the engagement's fake. Maybe all of the photos were uploaded at one time. You can just tell that it's fake, but someone that's, that's new that, that is asking for help, they might not be able to have that kind of discernment that, hey, you know, Brandon Balliet is not randomly mess messaging people, you know, asking if they're okay, if, they're need if they need help. And oh, by the way, I need your seed phrase. You know, that's why at the very at the very bottom right there, it says, you know, hey, never, ever, ever, ever give your seed phrase, your what is it? You know, your private uh, your private keys. Right. Um, what else is it called? Like, you know, your 12 or your 24 or your 18 words, um, you know, never give that away, because if if someone say if say if those words are on this piece of paper and I think, oh, Oh, great. You know, this guy, he's being so helpful. He, you know, he's private messaging me. 
you know, asking me if I need help, which clearly I do, let me just give him the 12 words that he's saying that he needs. And that way he can help me with my issue, my issue, because what a nice guy he is, right? No one is ever that way in real life too. That's kind of how you also know it's a scam. But then once again, just like with FOMO or just with, um, you know, emotions being overwhelmed, they might not have done the due diligence to make sure that, hey, that was Richard Hart win with the, the I and the win was, you know, a slash or was a capital. And now, you know, what I thought was helping me is actually screwing me over because I got duped. So that's pretty much all I have for this. Uh, I don't want to make this any longer. It doesn't need to be longer. But just really look at those usernames. So we just did it here on Instagram, which once again, I'm not on very often. But Ballet Brand is where you can find me on Instagram too. No funny, unique spellings. It's just Ballet Brand. But don't be surprised if I don't get back to your direct message if you message me there. But just the point is, is that, hey, a little bit of due diligence, a little bit of me kind of already knowing what this is has allowed me to, hey, make the video now because I see within the, the, the time span of, say, like three or four days, you know, OG accounts and, and prominent hexagons that are having their accounts spoofed and faked. So I don't want the newcomers to, you know, because I've heard about this a long time ago with, they literally had like an audio recording of Kareem. They, they because Kareem has so much, you know, talk time on, say, uh, Quant Gang and things like that. The person that was imitating Kareem that was, you know, spoofing to be Kareem, they had pretty much dissected every single word that he would use. And then it's almost like those like sound keyboard, those sound boards, I guess, where you can almost, you know, you have a couple hours of footage of what the person's talking, and then you can almost, you know, create any sentence and it sounds like that actual person. And so that person that's, that's being targeted for that attack they might not know it's fake unless they do some of these other things of due diligence, such as, hey, the username. Or, um, you know, if someone is, say, on Telegram and things like this, um, no person should be direct messaging you randomly on Telegram. I promise it doesn't happen very often unless the person is, you know, uh, with, with malintent and, you know, they're trying to get something from you. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Once again, I want everyone to, you know, stay safe, right? Um, because, you know, not your keys, not your crypto. And, you know, if, if you're hodling, right, say you're hodling Pulse Chain, well, what good is hodling if someone has those 12 words that are, you know, they, they're the vault, you know, they're the keys to the vault. Um, what good is that if you accidentally gave away a prime piece of information and security? that totally compromises your position and you just didn't know any better. Um, so that's the very, the very, very, very last thing that I'll say, I promise, is if you're ever onboarding someone, don't just tell them about how great crypto is and, and pretending to paint something that it's not, right? So many people have lost their seed phrase. They've given away their seed phrase. They, uh, you know, they've, they've done a whole bunch of these things. They've, they've sent to the wrong address before verifying that the address was legitimate before sending a whole bunch of different things that can make something, which is a, you know, a sovereignty movement. It's allowing you to be your own bank, um, to have some, hey, you know, say that responsibility again, um, you know, with great responsibility comes great power too, right? So someone that's just making a mistake or that's just getting in can be completely turned off or the last thing you want to hear is say grandma or whoever nephew aunt cousin um, loses their damn freaking retirement fund or all their savings because they fomoed into crypto because they heard about how great it was and then they didn't realize the security aspects or they didn't realize you know the seed phrase or the the private keys or the cold storage was anything that you you know should never give anyone as far as information or details to so that's it, everyone. Stay safe out there. And shout out to Identity Block for giving me the inspiration to make this video. Uh, it just happened to be that he made a video about that, Hex Community under Cyber Attack Threats. And then it happened to be that within the past week, um, I've messaged three or four of the main Hexicans, letting them know that they got imposter accounts and that I reported each one of those fake accounts individually. But just stay alert, stay aware. It's the best thing that we can do, just like Richard does, is educate people, be patient with them, because if you want people to actually take what you have to say seriously,
you know, you're going to be, you know, you're going to need to be a little bit patient and realize, hey, there's a learning curve. There's a process to all this. Love y'all. See y'all next video.